we invite you along for what a summer in the Canadian mountains can look like. People come from all over the globe to experience these views, rightly so. We will share with you the way we experience Canadian summer, full time in our motorhome, able to choose whatever location we want, whenever we want, for as long as we want. Plan freestyle! Watch until the end of the video where we will share with you our five best tips for stretching your travel dollars here. I'm good with numbers. My name's Eric. And I'm Lori. And this is Plan, Plan Free. Free. When you prefer to spend your time in or near the mountains like we do, you are forever trying to maximize the fun factor of your summer. Because in the back of your mind, you know that summer can change to winter in an instant. And sometimes, it can change back and forth several times in one day. Summer! Woo! Son of a... Come on! Yeah, summer! Summer usually starts for us when we pick up our motorhome, after returning to Canada from living abroad for several months. This summer was unique because we had to quarantine upon returning from Bali, Indonesia, and as a result, summer was short. Once we're in the motorhome, we hit the road, find a nice, preferably free camping spot, and settle into a routine of regular day-to-day -day things, Household chores. Okay, okay, I'll take the garbage out. I wanna have a cow, man. What? Okay, I'll take out the garbage. Computer work. Because we are entrepreneurs, we voluntarily work harder to preserve our freedom than we ever worked when we had jobs. The main difference is nowadays is that we work from our preferred location, and then when it comes time to take a break for fun, it's right outside our doorstep.
Alright, so you've made it to the point of the video where we're going to share with you our top money stretching tips for enjoying this area of the world. First of all, thank you very much for making it this far. My name is Air. I'm Lori. This is Plan Free. If you like the video and what we're talking about, go ahead and click the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Maybe add a comment in the comment section. Alright, so tip number one on how to stretch your dollars in this area. And that would be if you're flying in from another country, consider flying into Calgary over Vancouver. And the reason for that is, is because Calgary is about a one or two hour drive to most of the locations that you see in this video, whereas Vancouver is about a nine hour drive. And driving and driving time is money. So the less of it you do, the more money you save. The rest of the tips are based around the same idea. That being everything is more expensive inside the national parks than outside. So our first tip in this regard would be in relation to lodging and camping. So as you may know, we live full time in our motorhome and camping fees can add up or parking fees more like can add up in a hurry. What we've done over the years is we've become more and more off grid slash dry camp boondocking friendly. So what we've done now lately is we've identified and chosen to camp in free camping spots as much as possible, usually just outside the park. So if you do your research, you can identify spots like I described, maybe one to one and a half hours outside of the park. And this can be a very significant money saving tip for you. And the second tip here is food and groceries. So sure, you might splurge, go to a really nice restaurant with the mountain view, but another money saving tip um, from our perspective is to purchase your groceries in maybe Calgary, Canmore, some area just outside the park and bring it all in with you. Another tip for saving money when you're enjoying the national parks in Canada is to identify and focus on lower cost activities. Now, of course, we're not saying to never enjoy the expensive things that are available in the parks, but every now and then, maybe choose these things to enjoy savings. Some of these activities might include hiking, which is often free and almost always supplies the best views of the park. Yeah. You can choose low cost activities like cycling or boating in the form of stand-up paddle boards, kayaking, canoeing. These are all low cost alternatives to things like riding gondolas or dining in the parks in the restaurant or staying in the expensive hotels or paying for organized boat tours. All of those things are fun and if they're in your budget, you should do them. If you are looking to save money, there are definitely low cost fun alternatives available in the parks. Okay guys, one more bonus tip before we leave you for today. There are a couple of spots that border the national parks that have almost or just as much beauty. You may want to do some research into identifying where those areas are because you can enjoy all the activities we've talked about here in these areas that are just outside the national parks and you don't have to pay the daily or the ongoing fees of being physically present in the parks. So that's another tip that we try to take advantage of when you're looking to save money with practically the same experience. Again, thanks for joining us. My name is Air. I'm Lori. And this has been Plan Free. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thanks everybody. Thanks Corey. <laughs> Thanks Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Thanks Willie. Willie B. Thanks for subscribing mom. <laughs> yeah, that's funny.